Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. One of the things that Bulletproof Radio focuses on is understanding how people get to the top of their game. And Peter Jackson called you the, the guru of gurus. And you're one of the top storytellers out there. And, and where I've probably been deficient in asking questions today, because I just actually got a chance to be schooled by a guru. But um, how did you get to be so good at this? Like, what, what did you do to, to be at this level? I told the truth. That's the real difference. First of all, I have real knowledge. I... The, 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 the lectures that I give are based on decades and decades of experience directing in the theater. I directed professionally over 60 plays. I acted professionally in 60 plays. And therefore, my job was to unravel what writers had done and then recreate it in a performance or in a cast of characters on stage. Um, I followed that with three years of research and a bibliography that was literally 300 titles long uh, into the art of story for stage, page, and screen. Uh, and then I was a writer. And um, I you know, had a good deal of success writing television. Um, and um, I sold 20, had 20 screenplay deals in Hollywood, so I was a successful writer. So I had knowledge. Uh, and uh, I noticed that what other people were doing in, the, in trying to teach writing was pretending that it's easy and that there's a formula. And step by step, you follow this recipe and voila, a wonderful screenplay, and you'll have your name on the screen and make a million dollars. And essentially, they were lying to people. They were pretending it was easy and that anybody could do it. Uh, what I did and do is tell the truth. This is really difficult. You're probably in over your head. And if you're going to succeed, you're going to have to dedicate the next 10 years of your life and 10 years of failure and 10 screenplays that nobody wants plays that never see a stage, books that nobody publishes, is going to take you 10 major works of story art to fail again and again and again in order to master this very difficult art form. Okay. And I, I lecture to drive the dilettantes out of the room. I only lecture to dedicated professionals. And I don't mean people who make money writing. I mean professional in their attitude. They have high standards. They're not just trying to copy last year's summer hits or whatever. Uh, they want to write original, insightful, meaningful, emotional storytelling for stage, page, or screen. And I take a tough attitude toward it, and I make people work really hard in the lecture. They take 100 pages, 200 pages of notes. Um, and... Um, the result is my reputation uh, grew, uh, word of mouth spread around the world that this guy will sit you down and will not bullshit you and you will learn what story is and, <clears throat> um, and you will have some insight into content as well as form. I think that's the reason I'm a success. I really do. Uh, I, I hear whispers, but I don't. I've never been to anybody else's lecture, but I hear you know whispers about what goes on, and the ass kissing <laughs> is notorious in these things. <laughs> and uh, I just won't do that. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm not you know rude. I try not to be rude, but I don't kiss their ass. I don't hold their hands. Writing is the loneliest job in the world. You got to sit in your pit. In your, with your characters in your head, and there's nobody there to help you. And you have to do it on your own. And, you know, seeking support and what is just another form of procrastination. <laughs> you have to do it on your own. And so I don't want people coming to my lecture thinking that I'll be there for them. <laughs> I'm not going to be there for them. They're going to do it on their own. And when they, you know, and when people reject their first efforts, 
I mean, the first thing you write is always the worst thing you'll ever write. I mean, any common, you know, common sense tells you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and when it's rejected, you know, you're going to have to pull yourself back up and and uh, and start the next project. I mean, writers aren't people with a story to tell. Writers are people with stories to tell their whole life. And so they start the next one and the next one and the next one, and, it's, and they're going to do it on their own. So uh, if they can't deal with the truth in my lecture, they're never going to deal with it on their own uh, at their keyboard. Uh, so anyway, I'm tough and, uh, <clears throat> and practical and real and um, and I you know and I don't bullshit and uh, but it's a lot of fun. The lecture is also very funny. I mean, I used to do stand up comedy and I I use a lot of <clears throat> a lot of shtick in what I do. Uh, it's to you know and uh, and so um, and so that as a result, word of mouth spread around the world for the last 25, 30 years that um, that you'll learn from this guy uh, and. Um, it is what it is. I never made any effort to market it. Um, I got it, and the phone would ring. People would call. I'd get invitations to come to this part of the world, that part of the world. Uh, uh, it just, it just happened purely by word of mouth. Well, uh, I can tell you during the course of this interview, you've convinced me that I need to come to uh, one of your lectures. So <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely be doing that.